everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and what I have for you today is a wish haul some of these items I bought um, and had shipped to a local pickup spot here uh, in Kansas City Missouri I, I live in the Liberty area but uh, right outside of Kansas City but there's a few places I guess we can pick up locally one of them um, not being too far away from me so you, I save a little bit of ship on shipping but they told me and you guys tell me if this if you've ever picked up at a local spot if this is something that you're dealing with if you have if wish decides if you buy things all at one time so you load up your cart and you pay for everything at once and then Wish sends your things not all in one package, but in multiple packages. Does your local pickup area make you pay additional money when you go to pick it up or they won't release your packages? I was told by this place, it's Sun and something. It's a bathing suit, you know, suntan place sells it. Look, you think you were at the beach when you walk in it's it's very much um like a bathing suit and t-shirt shop at the beach but it's in kansas city um anyways they charge 50 cents for each package after the first package uh if they're sh shipped separately and if you don't pay it they won't release your items that you already paid for you've paid for it you paid for the shipping but because their employees have to work to go and find your packages uh they will not the guy that owns the place makes you pay an additional 50 cents per package can they do that is that legal you tell me uh so anyway some of the things i had shipped there and then some things came here i believe possibly but i also did a thing where when you go online if you go to your local pickup you know what is available for local pickup and you can go through and see what it has been abandoned at the uh, location and you can buy it and pick it up that day and the shipping is free obviously but again if you buy it and you have to buy one item at a time so that wish pays them 50 cents for that item because if you put Oh, they have six items I want. I put all six in my cart and they're not all six in one package because they aren't. Uh, you have to pay 50 cents additionally for each one again. And so, uh, or they won't give them to you. Uh, Tommy, is that even legal? Can they even legally do that? You've already paid for the item. You have paid for the shipping if you ordered it off of Wish or it's there and it's supposed to be free shipping. Can they legally withhold something that you have paid for and say, sorry, if you don't pay me this, I'm not giving it to you and cancel whatever wish, I guess, would refund your purchase price. But do they refund it minus the shipping? Because usually when wish uh, refunds you, they refund you the purchase price and not the shipping price. So if you don't pay them that additional 50 cents for what you've already paid for and why already paid the shipping for, does wish give you back your... 50 cents, dollar, whatever, but not your couple of dollars in shipping? Um, what if it's a free item? You didn't pay for that item, all you paid was the shipping. Anyways, and one was a mystery bag that I bought and I paid, I think, $5 for, and um, what I got is what I got. So, and you don't know what it is. All right, so let's just dive in this bag of bags and see what I got. Um, cats have chewed on some of the bags and John got into a couple of bags. Um, so here's how they come. That they doesn't even have the, all this has is a tracking number. It doesn't even have an address. So this has to be one that I picked up, um, there. So all they have is, um, the, the tracking or this QR code or something, whatever it is that they scan to find it. And, um, like it's taking them a half an hour to find it you know they're back within a couple of minutes if even that long all right so this only has one thing in it and that doesn't even have my address on it so there again I must have picked it up in the store 
So I think that I'm going to see about changing to one of the other local pickup spots because I'm not going to pay for each one of my items, you know, put one in the cart, pay for it, put one in the cart and pay for it. No, I'm going to shop and compare prices and then when I go to my cart to pay, I'm going to pick and choose, okay, do I really want this or do I want this other item? Can I really afford that many items? That kind of thing. And then I'm just going to pay. I'm not going to do it over and over and over again. I'm sorry, I'm not going to. And I'm not going to pay them 50 cents an item extra because they don't want to pay their employees, uh, you know, as part of their job. Well, they just don't pay them enough. Well, take it up with Wish. You know, that's not my fault. They're the one that made the agreement. So regardless, um, I'm going to see if there's someplace else around town that I can go and um, pick my items up and not be, um, you know, my stuff not be held for ransom. For, you know, when I pay for it, I expect to get it. I pay for it, you know. And like I said, that was the agreement they made with Wish. And I'm not paying ransom. And I'm not going to get cheated out of part of my money because I didn't pay the ransom. Make sense? All right. So anyways, again, let me know in the comments. This, guys, um, is a bag holder. You put like a, wish I had one because I didn't know that this was in here. But I know what it is because I've thought about buying it before. I think this was one of the mystery items. I don't have a, yes, I do. It's got stuff in it, but that'll help for demonstration purposes. I have a Target bag. So you put the handles over this part, and it holds your bag that you can use for trash or something like that, or somehow maybe you put it in this way and it over. I'll have to look. Somehow you hook this to your bag, and it holds it, I think that way, because it holds it a little more securely, like from the inside and over. And then it's got these, and it goes over like a... Um, cabinet door and say you're cutting up your vegetables or whatever you can put your trash right into this bag because it holds it open but you could also use it to hang like your dish towels or whatever over your door something like that if you didn't want to use it for trash at the moment I mean I don't know um, I bought it because I thought it held the bags better I may be doing it incorrectly um, and I will check that on the Wish side, but somehow it holds the bags so that it's more convenient, you know, to scrape your trash right into this. That's why I bought it. I th also thought I could somehow make it so I could have a bag on my table, but not so much. I was hoping it was, you know, I could do that. I don't know what I was thinking. Not so much. Wish I had a trash bag in here with my trash can is elsewhere. All right, well, some of my items are open. Again, John knows through some bags. Um, this bag has multiples in it. This may be the one that I paid $5 for because there's multiple packages in this one package. I think it said it had three to five items. So let's see, and it was $5. So there's one, two, three, four, five, oh, six. So six items. Let's see what it is. See if these are ones that I actually ordered or if these are ones that I got because, again, it was an abandoned package, so it was a mystery package of several items. And it could be things I want. It could be things I don't want, right? No. These are things I bought. I know because, oh, unless somebody else also ordered something like this. Okay. Okay. There are two of these necklaces. One says my dad, one says my husband. It's not attached to the chain for whatever reason, but it's just a cheap chain. I, I got it more or less for the charms. It says half my heart is in heaven. I miss you. And this one says my husband. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And there's, the other one's exactly like it, but it says my dad. Oops, this over here. That's, that's exactly the same, but it says my dad instead. All right, so there's those. Unless there's got some odd items that I didn't order, this is obviously my something I ordered. And since it all came in one, at least I didn't have to pay. Fit. Can you imagine though, if each one of these came separately, these two could have even these necklaces could have come in two separate bags. Um, I would have had to pay fifty cents for each of these six packages instead of it coming in together. And sometimes they come together and sometimes they don't. 
if you've ever ordered from Wish, then you know that. No, I, I ordered this. So this, another necklace. All right, sorry guys, I was trying to show you this necklace and my battery went dead. So anyways, I'm already over here where I had to change the battery, so I'm gonna show it to you up close. It is a packaging, so I can try to get it to focus. It is, I don't know if you know about the semicolon thing, you know, it means that the sentence goes on, you know. Then it says, and she goes on, and it's got the semicolon, and it has like a peridot. So anyways, here is, well, let me get it closer, even. It's like, I don't know if you call it like filigree something. It's a pretty heart. It's got all kinds of like, why, why must you? All kinds of like intricate, I hope you can see it. It's pretty. You know, you wouldn't want to wear it all the time because you know it's going to turn to green, but apparently I must have bought it. I don't remember buying it, but it's pretty. Guys, it's got, I wish you could see, there's actually little, like, different colored, um, I thought something weird was going on with it. It's got little different, like, um, crystals inside. There's, like, a, a pink one, a green one. A lighter pink one and maybe a purple or bluish colored one. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to where you can tell that they're inside of there. I'm not sure I'll be able to get it that close. But, you know, because it's hard to see. Anyways. I don't think you can tell they're inside of there. But anyways, they're, they're really pretty. But it's very subtle and you have to look very close to see it. So... Um, anyways, it's a size 6, but it's really, it's bigger than a size 6. Um, it's very big, but I like it. Well, you know I ordered this one. But it's adjustable. It's another ring. See, it's on my first finger. Easy kitty cat with the tail wrapped around. Can you tell? Just that finger. I hope you can tell. And you know, my recent obsession with scarves. But it is yellow. And it's got pink and blue on it in, I don't know, random, like, shapes. And yellow, you know, yellowish-orange. That's really actually very pretty. Right up my alley, my colors, you know, I love bright, uh, I like pastel -y colors, but yet yeah, bright colors, like, I love every color. <laughs> so, right now I have one red, white, and blue, which I think is more UK colors. Because <laughs> I want to go to England. Um... Anyways, ta-da! It doesn't go with this. It clashes. But okay. Nice. And you know what? Right up there with the quality of the ones on the say for a dollar. And I know I didn't pay more than a dollar for it. Okay. You stay up there. <laughs> Where I threw it, it's sliding. And down it goes. Alright. Too much stuff in here, you guys. I am so buried under stuff that I got behind on. I'm going to be a couple of days just cleaning it up when I'm finished. I don't break my neck and in here. But apparently I bought two stars. Looks like this is a pretty one too. Oh, look at these colors. And it's got, I don't know if you can see the birds on it. Can you see them? Because, you know, it's so sheer. I don't know. How, they're, how well they're showing up on the, um, see them? Yeah, I think you can see them. See the different colors? It's like the green, and then it's got like blues and purples and flowers and birdies and, hmm, that's really pretty. And very sheer, very lightweight, so definitely cruise worthy. I don't know why I'm obsessed with scarves. I've never owned a scarf in my life. Until uh, somebody gave me one that had like makeup mo motif. It's like pink and I don't think you can really see it too much. I mean, I'm trying to hold it. It's got lipsticks and stuff like that on it and high heels. And I was like, not really me, but you know, maybe I'll wear it in a makeup video or something, which I never have. But all of a sudden, since I've received that one as a gift, I have gone 
absolutely nuts buying scarves. I've never worn a scarf in my life. Not even a winter scarf. I'm just not, I mean, I have a Hufflepuff one from Universal Studios, right? That's a winter scarf. I don't wear it. It's a collection, a collectible. But now I have a scarf and I'm going to wear them because I am not going to have, I probably have 20 scarves or 30 scarves that aren't duplicates because I have some that are duplicates that I'm going to give in giveaways. Um, speaking of giveaways, I'm 10 away from 400. So there's going to be a giveaway very soon. And there's just going to be all manner of things in that giveaway. And it's going to be a mystery box. And there just may be a scarf or two. But there'll be lots of other things that are not scarves, I promise. So... And I just ripped my, the bag I was using for trash, I just split it all the way down the side. So now the trash is all over the floor at my feet. All right, next bag. <laughs> oh, this is an odd feeling one. It's something big. Maybe this is the mystery one. I know I got a mystery one, but I had help. So hopefully it didn't find its way into someone's room. Like I said, some things got opened. I have no idea. This is very odd feeling. It's a very weird shape. And it's big. I don't know what it is. Guys, this might be the mystery bag. No, or I could be wrong because it feels like headbands. One. But it still could be a mystery. Two, three. Mm, this is very odd feeling. Four. It feels like a headband, but it feels like it's got something big on it. Some big flower or something. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. Like I said, it feels like headbands, but there's other things. The scissors are. This may be the mystery one because there's that one is very odd. They said they had one that they thought I would like. And that's how they talked me into the mystery one. Okay, I think this might be the mystery one. I knew I liked headbands, so. Oh, these are pretty. Actually, this would match very well with the skirt I have on at the moment. I can hike it up so you can't see. <laughs> I can show you the skirt without, I actually have long bloomers under it, but it's a jeans, like jeans shirt material, right? But look, this would go well with it because it's also kind of a denim but it's got like white stitching on it. And of course that, no, I like that. Well guys, I think this is my mystery bag. That's really neat. And there's another one though, and it's maybe gray. Kind of gray with the same stitching. I like those. I've, I've never seen those on Wish. I like those. Yeah, the lady was like, oh, I found one back here that I think you would like. So, I think she may be right. They stop package. So, if I bought these individually, they would have, on Missé, they would have been a dollar each. And I got two of them in there. I don't, and there's like nine things, nine packages. So at five dollars, I spent less than a dollar on two. So that was a good deal. I'm assuming this is a piece of jewelry. Oh, you guys! I was gonna order this, but it was like off of um. What's that? Exchange, something exchange. Bradford exchange? Is that it? All right, it's a necklace. It's got a nice chain. <laughs> but wait till you see what is attached to the chain. Oh my gosh, what are the odds? What are the odds, guys? Now, the one I was going to get definitely was not, this is like printed. They 
stolen the picture and printed it and slapped it on here. But what I was going to get was like enamel and stuff. But look what it is or who it is. Mau Mau. And it says, I love you to the moon and back, I think. Yeah, it is Mau Mau on the moon. I, honest to goodness, I don't know if it was a necklace or if it was like a Christmas ornament or something, but I saw this just a few weeks ago in a magazine. And it was an older magazine. I was at a doctor's appointment. I hope you can see it well enough. And I was going to order it, but it was an older magazine. I was like, oh, for sure, like it was at least a couple of years old. I was like, for sure that those aren't, you know, they don't have those anymore. And it was really expensive. It probably was going to be like $65 or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I can't afford that. And I don't remember that that was a necklace. I, I'm thinking it was either... I thought it was a Christmas ornament and like I thought it had like a wire hanger thing where you could you know that where it has like a round base and it has that little hook and you can hang it but that one's a necklace what are the odds this is an odd feeling one doesn't feel like jewelry I'm not sure what it is I guess we're gonna find out you know I better be careful hit cutting these open because who knows what's inside of them Some hair doodads. These are like the alligator clip ones. I don't like those as well because they're um, pretty damaging to your hair, especially with really fine hair like mine. I did buy a few um, off of Miss A, but I use them like to, like to clip my um, scarves together and it makes a neat little like brooch thing where the you know where you bring the scarf together so you don't keep having to fall out of your shoulders sorry guys uh this is in pinks and like rose golds and um sometimes i will hook these to a um other kind of brett so it's actually on the brett and not on my hair and you know cover it up but they're pretty i like them i may have even bought them off of you know i would have bought them off of missay if they were on missay i don't know um again less than a dollar I can't get over the cat, though. The cat necklace. Something I wanted anyways, but on a bigger scale. And made it a little nicer. But still, I love it. I will definitely hang it on my cat journal. I probably wear it a couple times first. Okay, all right. All right. Clearly, this person is a cat lover and loves all things hair doodads. This is a cat necklace. I don't think I've... No, it's not a necklace. What is it? It's a bracelet. It's a, this bead here, I don't know if you can see, slides up and down, but it's all twisted up. It, it slides up and down the chain to make it bigger and littler. And then it's got a cat playing with like a ball or some yarn or something. Can you see it? I hope you can see that. Wow, that's stinking cute. What are the odds I would have gotten the one bag there that had this, you know, had stuff in it that was actually something I would have ordered had I seen it and could afford it? No way. That lady knew what was in this bag. I wonder if they can see what's in the bag when they scan it, if it somehow tells them what's, what the items actually are. Look at that. Let's go on to the next package. We're still working on the one that had like nine things in it. Is this, a, is this something about DIY stickers? I don't think they're stickers. I'm trying to get it open. Okay. It has a blue film over it. I think this may, if I'm not mistaken, be one of those things. Like, I did a video a while back on those things that you, like, had these metal plates that had designs etched into them. And you, like, put nail polish, this kind of special nail polish over it. And you use this, like, blotter thing to pick up the nail polish design off of it. Like, you wiped it off. 
picked up the design and like stamped it onto your nails and I, I only tried it the one time. I think that might be what one of what this is. Thing. Okay, so it is I'm thinking it has to be one of those things you do the nail because they sell a lot of um there's a lot of things to do nails, nail art and thing. And I think that must be what this is. Like I said, I only tried it the one time. It was supposed to be a subscription. They never sent me a, another package of them. I totally forgot about them. I only tried them the one time in the video. Let me see if I can hold this up so you can see. But it's cats and stuff. If you can see it without the light shining on it. Looks like they're etched in there pretty good. I think that's what that's for. I'll have to get my stuff out and see um, and make sure that that's... They do feel etched in there pretty good. So I'm thinking that may be what that is for. I hope that's what it's for and I hope that it works. But I have no idea. Other than that, what would you use that for? A bookmark or something? Maybe it's a bookmark? I'm thinking because it says sticker that it is for the nails, I think. I would like to try it and show you, but I don't even know where the stuff is for sure that I got before. It had like, I think one or two plates and um, I think it might have had two. And like one or two colors of nail polish and some clear thing that you'd like roll back and forth over the design and then you put it onto your nails and it worked fairly well. I mean, not perfectly, but... I just never did it again and I never like did a manicure with it. I just did the one finger to show you guys. Forgot all about it. I think that's what that is. I think. If I'm wrong, this is a bookmark. <laughs> I don't know. Something in here. Like I said, whoever this was um, liked cats and liked headbands and hair things. Um, so they had to know, they had to have been able to tell what was in the package, or at least that there were headbands in it. Because the lady was like, oh, I have something. And she's the one that talked me into even trying it. I didn't even know they did mystery boxes and that kind of thing. She's the one that told me about it. Or that you could buy things that other people, like, left behind and you could go on the website. She had to show me how to go, like, on the app and look through. I don't remember how I got to it, but you look through things that were left behind and it um, had like a little icon by it and then you had free shipping and you could pick it up that day. Uh, she's the one that, it's another ring, size, looks like another size six, another person with relatively small hands. Obviously their hands are bigger than mine. I had to go and put um, the stuff that looks like telephone cord I got from Wish. I don't know if you can see it on there to make the rings fit, the different rings while I was moving uh, videos so I could free up my SD card. Um, tell you what, that was a good um, investment for that uh, ring sizer stuff. It's like, like I said, it's like Barbie telephone cord or something. Um, it's, it's like ring sizers or whatever. And there's 10 of them in there. And I still am on the first little coil of this stuff. And I've done one, two, three, four rings of with it. And I still have about a third of one of those little coils um, out of 10 that I got for like a dollar or two. So it's definitely worth it. These are discolored, but um, you probably can't see them. Uh, but they've been on there a couple of years or at least a year. And um, yeah, definitely a good investment because I've lost another cat ring because I've lost um, so much weight, um, over 130 pounds that all my rings, you know, none of my rings fit. Right now I have a bunch of them on because I have ones from like the bath bombs and things mostly. Okay, so this one is also a cat. Yeah, it's a cat ring and it's sort of got like rhinestones on one side and like that cat head is a rhinestone. Ears are rhinestones, but there's also one like the tail and one on the side. It's cute. It's going to be too big for me. I really wear like a four or five. Uh, the six is too big on my first finger and I had to, like, like I said, use that coil stuff to... I hope you can see it. One side's all glittery and the other side has like a tail and... Can you see it? 
Let me see if it's going to fit me at all. kind of fits. Let me take off the paw print one from um, uh, Fragrant Jewels from the Bath Bomb. And it kind of fits my middle finger. It's a little big. I'd have to put those coily things on it, but... See my middle finger? That's cute. I'm going to take it off and put it back in the bag. Because right now I'm wearing a ring, the cat paw one. And I'll save it for when that one tarnishes. Because right now, oh my except for my thumbs, are bedazzled, bejeweled. Try not to lose this. Set over the necklaces. So it looks like this person's big into cats. I'm big into cats. But they also, I think what she thought was I'd like it for the headbands, but maybe she saw the cat things too. Like I said, they probably know what's in their bags. They probably, I mean, how else do they let wish no hey this wasn't picked up and it's put on their site and they have to know they have to have an idea what are in the bags and what's a good bag and what's not a good bag but i think that the lady was being extra nice to me because i was so upset about the whole 50 cents you know deal that i told you about that she was trying to do something nice for me okay it is a headband Looks like it's leather or something, or pleather, in kind of a um, beige. That's pretty. I'm not really one that wears a whole lot of leather or even pleather. I'd probably really make your head sweaty because it's like, I think it's fabricy on this part. I was going to say, if it's like leathery on your head, I mean, as it is, they bother my head after a while. So it's whiter than I usually wear. And, um, but it's like a pleather kind of, that's pretty. I think I'll go with a lot of things, don't you? But it's kind of really wide. I mean, it's like half again as wide as the ones I usually wear. This one came from, um, Retail Rebel. They had a whole bunch of them, like six or eight of them rubber banded together. This great big... Um, you'll see them in another, in an actual DIY video, but it was on the dollar day and I got like six or eight of them for a dollar. So it was a better deal even than this, but these were less than a dollar, but I don't know if I would have ordered this one for myself in, because I would be worried that it would be like hot and make your head all sweaty and itchy. And it's also wider, like I said, wider here than I usually wear, but Without breaking it I mean if you could see it's if you gather like the actual fabric and the actual headband part it is quite a little bit wider even than the ones with the knots on them but I'll probably wear it I wouldn't have bought it this is something that's squishy and feels like it's got a, like it feels like a lot of um cotton balls it feels like. I'm not sure what that is. A bunch of like little pom poms with like glittery. Are these cat toys? Kind of small. Would they be? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure, guys, because they are kind of tiny. Are these going to be safe for the cats? I mean, they're like a little. I think these would pull apart really easy too. They don't feel like. I don't know. They're very very tiny. I mean, once you get them out and sort of mush them a little bit, they're they're not as little as they look in the bag. And they don't say pom poms. It just says multicolor pom poms. So I'm not sure what they're meant to be, but with these things, like, all right, see the glittery things sticking out? I just, one just came right out of it. I, I wouldn't give those to my cat, so the, I don't think they're meant to be cat toys. I hope they're not meant to be cat toys, because another one just pulled out of it. I really don't need my cats, you know, hacking up tinsel. Um, tinselly things are not really good for animals. And that's basically what that is. It's a pom-pom with tinsels. 
I'm assuming this is meant for crafting. There's uh, purple ones, blue ones, orange ones, white ones with silver. There's a yellow, one lone yellow one, looks like. But see these little things that stick out, they just fall right off or pull right off. No, then my cats aren't playing with them. Even if they're meant for cats, my cats are not playing with them. A red, one red one. So, there you go. Maybe, um, I'm going to eventually DIY some gnomes. Maybe I'll put it as a bolly on the end of a gnome hat or something. You know, those gnomes that everybody are making out of, like, fuzzy socks. And there's one lone dark blue one. So there's this color blue, more of a turquoise blue, and then a royal blue. All right. There's, does it say how many are supposed to be in there? 21, maybe? I don't know. There's a baggie of them. That's probably what I'll use. Something like that, or I'll donate them, perhaps. So that's the only thing I'm like, mm, not not so much for me. Because it these things... Is, um, bits of tinsel are going everywhere. So, I'm, mm, nah, not a fan. Alright, so what's in this bag? This was the weird mystery bag. This way it feels like a headband. This way it feels like something really hard. Looks like a... It's got a tail. It looks like a lizard. So, whatever it is, it's hard. Is it a headband? It looks like a headband. It feels like a headband with a lizard on top. Something hard on top and big. And it keeps clunking on the table. Is it a headband? Yes, it appears to be a headband. Ew, the fabric's weird. It's like, I don't know, I guess it, there's some kind of fur sticking out of the bag. Is this like a spider? <laughs> what in the world and that's stuck on there I mean it doesn't come off it must be for Halloween it's a cat it's a fuzzy wuzzy little like calico cat stuck on a headband <laughs> certainly that's for a kid's Halloween costume wouldn't you say I can't see it on myself how ridiculous it's like on top of your head well you know I, I often have a cat on top of my head I wonder if they have a black and white one I'd have to buy it if they did but couldn't they have put it like off to the side a little bit Got a little pink nose. It, oh, it's got little green eyes. That's ridiculous. I wonder how much this costs by itself. Do people really buy them? Well, somebody did. It's hard, too. I mean... Can you hear that? And it's heavy. I mean, I could see wearing it, like I said, as part of a, of a costume or for a video, but you wouldn't walk around town with this on your head, would you? Some people might. I will not. However, that is really cute. It is cute. You know what? My granddaughter, Kaya, is going to steal this. I know she is. I'll wear it for a video. Maybe I'll wear it for a cat lady video. But after that, I'm sure she'll steal it. That's cute. Who would have thought? I wonder if they have dogs and other things. I thought it felt like, it felt like a lizard because it had like this tail and it's hard. It didn't feel like it had, because there's no like padding. It didn't feel like something fuzzy. It felt like kind of like this was the body of the lizard and the lizard tail. I thought it was a lizard. It's a cat. Well, somebody other than me is a crazier cat lady even than me. Um, so it was like, oh, there was one, two, three, four, if you count this one, 
headbands in the mystery one. I really like these. I would have bought these. Um, this one I'm on the fence about. I'd have to see it on and feel, see how sweaty and itchy it makes your head. Because, you know, leather on your head. Um, I can't even wear a hat, guys. This ridiculousness. It's very cute. I mean, if it's a dollar or something, maybe I would have bought it for a... Especially if it's just black and white instead of black and white and, like, orange. But, um, like, maybe to wear for Halloween or something. Or a cat lady video, but, no. These pom-pom things that probably just going to go in the trash. Uh, the necklace, it looks like my Mau Mau. This is I Love You to the Moon and Back. This thing that I think is a thing for nail designs or could be a bookmark. I'm not sure. Um, this cat ring that wraps around your finger. This other cat ring, right? And the Brits, hair, like, jaw things that I don't like because they break your hair off. But like I said, I'll put over, a, like, a flatter Brett, clip it to it if you can hide it. If not, maybe I'll use it to clip my... Uh... What do you call it? Scarf. Did I miss anything? I hope these are all open. I don't want to throw them in the trash because without feeling them, I'm make sure they're all okay. They feel like they've all been empty. Sit those down there on the floor because my bag's split open. All right, that's pretty good for five bucks. I have no idea if this is something I bought or if I bought it as somebody's abandoned package. Like I said, that bag holder thing was somebody's abandoned package. I, don't, I know I bought a few things that were, and then that mystery bag. But this only has one thing in it. Oh, and another thing about those, mis those abandoned packages, you're buying, you know, you see one item, but there could be more than one item in the bag. If it's something like this that has the separate bags in them, sometimes they have multiple bags. I don't know how often that happens, but that's what they told me. But I would think that if they had very many, if they could feel very many packages in there, certainly they'd be selling it as a mystery package to get the extra money out of it. But they say you might be able to get more than one thing in it. Okay, this must be something that I, this is not something I ordered. It's a bracelet. It's real leather, I can smell it. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five different strands of leather that's been dyed black. There's one that's like just round and then there's one that's like a thicker braided one that's flat that has this like other leather wrapped around it another round one and a thinner braided one and some kind of a clasp thing i think i think it's well guys i have no idea but i'm assuming you're supposed to be able to get this Okay, you slide it in and out like there's a hole there and it, it's kind of magnetic. This looks more like for a guy. Well, I mean, anybody could wear it, but this must have been one of the things she talked me into buying that I had no idea what I was getting. This leather, um, it'd be way too small for John's wrist. Maybe Eric would wear it in it like slides in and out there's like a hole here and this slides in i mean it seems like it's well made and everything but i didn't buy it i'm like well obviously i did unless i ended up by, it by mistake because i got a whole bag full of things um too big for me but maybe eric will wear it i don't know i mean i can literally just slide it off my hand all right it smells like leather I don't buy things made out of real leather very often anymore. It's just, I don't buy pleather because I think it looks dumb and I don't buy real leather because 
don't know what this is either. Okay, that's weird packaging. It's not, I mean, it's weird. It's not, it's, I thought it was opened. It's not, it's, um, it's looped together like that. So, well, how do you get to the... All right. I have no idea that wasn't even really in there. No idea. Not the little jewelry one. Or small item one. Is this something I bought or is this something... No, this is not something I bought. Not anything I would ever, 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 ever buy. Some kind of weird ring. No, nobody would buy this. First of all, it's almost a bracelet. It's so big. Sorry if you have bigger fingers. I have very, I mean, it's even, look, it's way too big even for my thumb. I told you I bought a bunch of things that they were like, you know, get a really good deal. It's, um, me. Some kind of girl with a flower. Can you see it? And her hair is like all rhinestone-y and that is terribly gaudy. If you like it, I'm glad, but not my style. It's got like black and I don't know. No. <laughs> it, guys, I mean like I could put my thumb in there like twice. I have very baby size hands. Okay, that's a dud. Don't even know. I'll donate that to somewhere. I have no idea. This is open. All right, this is torn open. There's a couple of headbands in here. This is like this is like these. Maybe I bought this one in the... But it's exactly like this, only it's dark blue. It's got the same print on it. I don't remember buying it, but unless this is a mystery one too. I don't know, guys, at this point. I, I'm confused uh, as to what I bought and what I didn't. I don't remember ever seeing this at the end. I think I've seen this. You know what? I think I bought one of these off Miss A, ex exactly like this, possibly, or very similar. All right. Um, what I did buy and was delivered that I didn't have show here are the little cremation remains urn necklaces. I bought some of those, and apparently these hearts that said half my heart's in heaven uh, in this but these things are all mysteries to me. But this is a pretty one. It's, it looks wide, but um, it's not because the band, it's it's just, it's like a beige lace with some pearls on it. So that's pretty. It is a little wide maybe for my head, but I think it's cute. It'd be really pretty for like a wedding, like attach a veil to this. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? I'm not getting married, obviously. I've been married for 20 years um, this time. <laughs> I, I might have ordered that had I seen it. I didn't order it. Because um, I have, you know, been buying a lot of them on Miss A. Um, I wouldn't buy them and pay a bunch of shipping when I can buy them from Miss A and get free shipping, you know, if I buy enough at one time. I'd rather get free products than, you know, it can, it can cost you know, three or four dollars or more to ship a headband. And maybe you get it for a dollar. Maybe you get it for free with shipping. But by the time I pay for the shipping, it costs a lot more than one on the say. So that's why I don't order them from Wish. Feels like it maybe have a necklace. Let's see what it is. 
which does have nice items. I'm not complaining about the quality of their items or anything. It does take a long time to get them. Some things are not very nice quality. A lot of things are nice quality. It's just they've really upped their shipping. It used to be, you'd, you know, you'd get something, you'd pay less than a dollar for it and get free shipping. And it used to be there was more free shipping than there was paid shipping. And now the shipping costs, you know, now you may get a free item, but you pay, you know, four or five dollars for the shipping. Something with pearls. I don't know if it's a necklace or if it's a bracelet. I still don't know. What is this? Is it a hair tie thing? Is it one of those... Hang on. Maybe it's one of those bracelets that's also supposed to be a... I don't know how this works. Maybe it's one of those... No, I mean, you'd have to have a really long hand. You tell me, guys. I don't know. Is it broken or something? It's got a sharp thing sticking out of it. Which I think is actually a rhinestone that's falling out and they've got glue going weird. Alright, well anyways, it's got this bigger loop here. Then it has a charm hanging off like it would be a bracelet. But then it's got this long piece in what I thought was like maybe a ring. Like, you know how they have those, how do they go on? How do you get this way or? I don't know. Something where you put your hand in and like it has a ring. That, but then this is really long because it's just because I have freakishly small hands. Is that how it goes? Or I, I don't know what this is. I don't know. I, I really like the beads. And the, there's a, um, I don't know. You tell me, guys. It's elastic. It's stretchy. You tell me, because I'm a loss. I'm not sure. I think it may be supposed to be a barefoot sandal thing, but I thought they generally came in pairs. So maybe it is supposed to go around your wrist and then around your finger and, like, go down your hand. They're usually made of chain, though, not, like, stretchy things. And I don't know. I have no idea. I just paid. I, I let the lady talk me into some stuff. I think they just wanted to get it out of their back room. I mean, the one thing was pretty neat. It was cats and headbands. So, you know, right up. I know exactly who would love this. Other than me, because it's got butterflies on it. It's like a big diaper pin thing. So I think you're supposed to like... What do you use these for? Is it like just a brooch or what do you, um, I don't know, but it's purple. Let's get it out of the plastic so you can see it without the light reflecting on it. It's like one of those, uh, big, like diaper pen things and it's, so I don't know if it's just meant to be like just a brooch or what you do with it, but, um, see, it's one of those big pens, like a, like I said, like a diaper pen kind of deal. Like back in the day when people used cloth, di cloth diapers. and But then it's got pretty enamel painted like purple butterflies. Purple and then it's got black rhinestones. So, I mean, I guess I could like pin my shawl with it. What do you, what do, you do with these? What do you do with these big pens? Is it, is it just supposed to be just a pen just to wear? Or do you do something with it? It's heavy. It's pretty. I like, I like that. My friend would like it because she loves purple. Uh, I love it because I love butterflies. That's empty. That's empty. Looks like we're down to one package. Sorry if this video is like all over the place. I have no idea when I'm opening. I like to feel them and try to see since I don't know open this down there because I'm not sure what this is. It's a very odd shape. You can get some weird things from Wish. Speaking of weird things, you can find some weird things at Retail Rebel. Like 
rubber guard things. I don't know. It feels very weird. It's a long cylindrical, like a flashlight. No, it's a makeup brush. I thought maybe it's a like a magnet, like one of those little small magnet lights or it's a nice size uh, makeup brush. It's like a big one, like for blush or something. You know, I'm not big on you know makeup and things, but I know somebody that is. That's a pretty um, nice brush. It's not as soft as some of the ones I've gotten, but it's a nice size. But yeah, I wasn't sure. I mean, it's an odd shape thing when you don't know what's in the package and all you're feeling is this cylindrical thing. And I was thinking maybe a flashlight, but it was not a flashlight. It was a makeup brush. Oh, well, I did pretty good, I think, with the mystery items. I've seen some people get really nice things. I've seen people get some real, you know, far out there weird things from mystery things from Wish. Um, I don't know if they're getting them off of the Wish site or if they're actually buying them from one. I know one person has bought them from their pickup site. Um, I did not know that prior to buying these. I've had these for a couple weeks. Um, just haven't had a chance to make the video. So, uh, I've seen people get some, some things where you're like, mm, there's a reason why they're in a mystery bag because nobody wanted them. Nobody bought them. These are things somebody wanted and then chances are went to that place to pick it up and they wanted to charge them 50 cents for each item and they were like, ah, no. And I hope they got their money back because I'm not sure how that works out. Um, you know, because you paid Wish you have to, you would think you have to get the money back or they couldn't legally keep the things. I, I but again, you tell me because I, I don't know. I just don't know how they can do that. And there's another thing. Speaking of that, apparently this is Michelle's going to ring it day. I have an HP printer that I print, I buy the, um, the ink through them, like a ink subscription. Paid for my printer. It's mine. You tell me, if you buy, if you've already paid for the ink and you've paid for way more pages than you've printed to the tune of thousands of pages that I have not printed, um, they only let you bank 900 at the tier that I'm at and I've used zero of 900. I've been paying for this for like two years. I missed one payment because my, I changed cards. Do you know that they disabled my printer remotely from the cloud? They shut my printer down. I couldn't print anything. I've paid for the printer. I've paid for the ink that's in the printer to the tune of a couple of years worth of paying them every month and never, ever, ever, ever once even coming anywhere near my monthly amount of pages I'm, that I pay for. So, you know, they're way, way, way ahead money-wise. They shut me off. I couldn't print. How is that legal? How is that something they are able to do? I could say, hear them saying, well, when you run out of ink, guess what? We're not going to send you any more because you didn't pay us. Fine, but the ink already paid for, and, and I've paid for it multiple, multiple times because they haven't sent me. I've had it for, two, like, two years, and they've sent me, like, three cartridges in two years. And that is, at, that's, no, they've sent me two because it came with the, like, the sample cartridge. You know what I mean? The, and I'm on the second one that I've ever paid for in two years, and it's, like, brand new. But they shut it off, so I can't print with the ink that I've already paid for over and over and over again. How can they do that? I've paid it. It's fine. I can use it now. But that really, really upset me. And I just don't see how that is a legal thing that can keep me from using something that I've paid for that's mine. You tell me. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Wish. Let's talk about um, whether or not this place that's getting these shipments so that I can get a little bit cheaper shipping, if, if it's legal for them to hold my stuff ransom for 50 cents. Is it legal for HP to hold my printer ransom, uh, rans for ransom when I've already paid for the ink? Uh, hey, what do you think of the things I got? Come on, guys. I mean, really? I'm 
still scratching my head. Um, what do you think of my random things? Uh, the only things that I, were ones that I ordered were the two matching necklaces and the semicolon, I think. I think it was it. Um, I think I did pretty good, actually. I think, you know, it's pretty cool that I got things that, or at least things that I, even if I wouldn't have bought them, you know, um, I'm not going to throw them out or I'm going to give them away to someone or, you know, donate them. But really, this, this spring, guys, I mean, can you imagine somebody punching you in the nose with that? Phew. Anyways, please, guys, give me a big old thumbs up. That would really help the channel. And as I said, make a comment below and please subscribe to my channel and share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you for watching and listening to me babble and rant. <laughs> and I'll see you again in a minute in another video because I'm way behind. Bye guys. I think my battery's dead. <music>